Hello, welcome to day 10 of Vlogtober. We've made it a third of the way through the month. Today I'm actually teaching a class on how to do special effects in CapCut. And normally I would use After Effects to do special effects, but CapCut has come leaps and bounds now. So I'm teaching a class basically on how to do things like masking, cloning, and also to how to use some of the built-in special effects that CapCut has to offer. So let's get on with it, let's go. In order to do this effect, what you need is you need to have a mirror, obviously, so you can have your reflection. And you need to set the camera up so that half of the screen is in the mirror and half of the screen is you kind of out of the mirror. And what you wanna do is you wanna approach the mirror. You want to be distracted, maybe look down, look away from the mirror, and then you wanna step out of the scene. Then you wanna repeat exactly the same move, but this time maybe do something else. Like in this example, I'm screaming at myself. And then when I come back from looking up, it's as if nothing's happened. Just as a quick FYI, you might have to do this one or two times to get the timing right. But with your footage filmed, let's jump into CapCut and show you how to edit it. Here I am in CapCut. I want to drop in my file, which is this one here. Just gonna drop the file of me walking up to the mirror. I did a couple of takes here. So what I do is I'll start from the end and I'm gonna cut it here where I look into the mirror. Then I'll go back where the scream is and and what I can do is go on the timeline, hit control B, and that will split the clip. And then we'll work back in time. This is the second clip. This is where I am just looking down away from the mirror and then walking back out of the clip. And I can just drag this in on this side of the clip. And I have my two clips now. So one of me walking in, looking down, and then one of me where the mirror screams at me and then it goes back to normal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the screaming clip put it on top of the normal clip. And of course I can't see anything because I need to add a mask. So let's select the top clip, come over to the right, go to mask and go to horizontal mask. So I have this line now. And what I can do is grab this double arrow and twist this around. And what I wanna do is move this white line slightly over here. Try and make it hide behind where this mirror edge is. I can also take this double arrow and drag it out. This feathers the mask. Not too much though, or you will reveal the other clip. So let's just drag it out a little bit just to feather slightly. Right, so now we have this clip here. I'm gonna just mute that because you can hear me screaming. I think I start screaming a little bit too soon. So let's zoom in slightly and let's just adjust this. So what I'll do is I'll take this top clip forward slightly and then just drag it out. So just enough time to put my head down and then the scream happens when I'm not looking and then it goes back to normal. Let's just zoom out again. Right, and then I wanna tidy this up. So select the clips here, hit Control B, and again here, hit Control B, and then I'll just delete these two. So we've got a nice, nicely trimmed timeline with this crazy screaming mirror and then I look back and everything's okay. The great thing about CapCut is it has a lot of these built-in effects that track to your face. So if you come over to effects and then you come over to where it says body effects, it will show you tons of these effects that you can put on your video. And if you use this toggle button to the left, you can have a look at the different categories. I'm gonna come over to superpowers and again, we can see some of the superpowers here or some of the superhero effects like scanning your face, fiery eyes. I want to add these effects in here. So I wanna add in this horns effect and this is a pro option. And what I wanna do is drag this down onto the timeline. So you can see my effects there. And really I want this to appear as I'm screaming and then as I start to stop scream, as, as I stop screaming, I want it to disappear. So I'm just gonna drag the effect out for that duration of the scream. Now you'll notice that there's this weird purple overlay filter. And we wanna get rid of that because that's gonna mess up our effect. So if we select the flaming horns, come over to where it says special effects and take the filter and drag it down to zero, we will get rid of that purple effect. I can also change the color of these flaming horns to a nice, red orange by dragging this color slider here make it a, a ready orange effect and this is what we have so far 
Next, I want to add in some lightning eyes. Yes, just drag that onto the timeline and we want it to line up with our flaming horns. And here it is. Look at that, that looks mad. Let's change the color to this, to the red orange. And also we've got this weird filter on this weird overlay. Let's take the filter down to zero. So now we've got something like this. Now the effect is like too abrupt. It just comes on straight away. What we want to do is fade this on up to the screen. And we can do this on our effects by selecting the effect, coming over to where it says strength. And you'll notice that there's a little diamond icon here. So go to where you want the effect to be fully visible, which is probably about here where the scream happens. Keyframe icon or the diamond icon and put it to 100. Come to the beginning of the effect, select the strength and drag it down to zero. So now you'll see those horns fade in over time. And we want to do the same with the lightning eyes. So select the eyes where you want the effect to be maximum, set it to 100, set the keyframe, come back, drag the time indicator to the beginning of the lightning eyes effect, come to where it says strength, keyframe it all the way down to zero. So now you'll see that this gradually builds. So it's subtle, it's not immediate, it's subtle, and I think it sells the effect a little bit better. We want the same when it ends. We want it to fade out after the scream has ended about here. So select the effect, go to where the strength is, hit the keyframe. We can do this for both options or both effects. They're both at 100. Then come to the end of both of the effects, select the effect, drag the strength down to zero, and you'll see that it automatically creates a keyframe. And we can do exactly the same thing for the lightning eyes, and now this will fade out. It won't just end abruptly, it will fade. So let's see what we've got so far. This looks okay, but it just seems a bit static. So what we wanna do is we wanna add some movement in. In order to do that, we can come over to the uh, video effects and there's lots of video effects to choose from. And I recommend you search through these and see which ones work best for your effect or your scene. I'm gonna come over to where it says dark and I love this faulty cassette effect. I'm going to drag this onto the timeline and this is going to add a glitch to the screen so we can play it and I haven't done any changes to this effect. We can just see what it looks like. What we can do is we can adjust our effect by coming over to the special effects option and again we want to take this filter down. We'll take the filter down so that we don't have the purple outline. And also we can change things like the lateral chromatic aberration to really sell it. Or we can change the speed of the effect. So where the jumps happen as well. So for example, I don't necessarily want it to be jumping in straight away. I want the jump to happen later so I can change the speed here and now if I play it through, we've got this. I also want to use another effect. So we're back in our dark effects and I'm going to use this effect called spooky camera. I'm just going to drag this out across the whole timeline. And it reminds me of a, an old security camera or an old camcorder. And it really is quite a spooky effect, a spooky camera effect. And if we play it through now, this is what we have. Now to really sell this effect, what we need is sound effects. And the good thing about CapCut is that it has its own built-in libraries. So we come over to audio, come to sound effects, and let's just get a scream going for our mirror monster. Let's try this one. That's a really screechy monster noise, I like that. So we're gonna drag that onto the timeline and you can see where the wavelength is, where the waveform is, that's where we wanna start. Drag it and then at the end where the screeching stops about there, again, we'll come here, control B and we'll delete that. So we have something like this and we can raise the noise level by pulling this white bar up as well. The scream is good, but we probably need something a little more depth to it. That's the one. So we're going to throw that on there as well. And let's hear this. So let's um, also pull in these little dots so this will fade it out by a little bit so it does just an end abruptly either and let's line that up now I also feel like we're missing a glitch noise we need like a glitch sound effect where the camera starts to glitch out so let's go to glitch let's try this 
Yeah, it's almost like a busted TV sound. And then let's just uh, let's just get the glitchy bits in. That sounds really glitchy there. Looks really glitchy there. So let's get all those glitchy bits in. And finally, I think we just need an overall sound for the whole thing. So let's grab this, throw it on there. Just trim this all in so it's all neat. This is our finished video. Very jarring. All right, guys, that's how you can do a scary mirror effect in CapCut. Again, try out the different effects, see what works for you, and yeah, share what you make with me in the comments below. So welcome everyone to Naya's Nuggets of Knowledge. Today, I've been doing lots of stuff with special effects. And the question is for you today, Naya, about special effects. As a an eight-year-old child, what film do you think has the best special effects? Ooh. You might want to take the lollipop out of your mouth in order to answer this. And actually, you might want to lift the mic closer to your mouth because you're quite softly spoken. Okay. So this is hard. My favorite film is We Can Be Heroes on Netflix. Oh. I think that has a lot of special effects because of the tentacles and the aliens. Yes, it does. It, and, the, and the superpowers. Yeah. Look, um, it's good how they make it look realistic. Yes. Yeah, that is my favourite film, We Can Be Heroes. Why? Basically, it's a good film, good effects, it looks realistic, it tells you something. So you like those, I think it's a moral, I don't know what it's called. Moral of the story? No, the thing where it tells you something. The like, moral of the story? No, it's a foul. There's a type of thing called something, which is basically... <laughs> yeah. Which is basically, it's telling you something, like... Um, but usually it's for baby, baby things, but, you know, like, if you watch something and at the end it teaches you something. The moral of the story. It te yeah, that. That's what I just said, like, five times. True. Yeah, okay, guys, well, that's it. That's from Naya's Nuggets of Knowledge today, talking about special effects. We will see you guys... Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Just yeah. Oh, that was a bit of a random day and a little bit of a random video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you found some sort of value from it, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell button for notifications. Today is day 10, 10 of Vlogtober. We are one third of the way through and it's tough. So guys, thank you for your support. I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs>